Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Everett Taylor, CEO of Kickstarter. I'm thrilled today to be with Ken Marcel as we spotlight him for our Black Creator Series here at Kickstarter. Ken Marcel is an entrepreneur, barber, florist, and founder of Matt Black, a haircutting salon, art gallery, and community gathering space in Red Hook, Brooklyn. Ken ran a successful Kickstarter campaign to build out a new location for Matt Black in Red Hook, Brooklyn. You're a florist. I'm a florist. You're a florist. You love flowers. I love flowers. You love flowers. Can you talk to me about your relationship as a creative with black masculinity sure. and what that means to you and how you're opening up doors, showing people that you can still be a black man and have different creative outlets than people are used to seeing. Absolutely. Masculinity, first of all, is a some false narrative that someone who died thousands of years ago came up with, and we are still torturing ourselves and torturing people on the street and now people online because they don't fall in line with what we believe masculinity is. You know, I, I received a lot of love from both sides of my family. I was surrounded by a community of men and women who did not put those pressures on me. I love to sing, I love to dance, and they allowed me to fill out that space. Can we talk a little bit more going back? You know, we've had conversations in the past before we sat down about your kind of experience that kind of thrust you into the world of entrepreneurship and how important those moments are um, when they happen to like, there's, there could be a one moment where you make a, you make a decision. Yep. Do I keep moving in the same yep. way or do I make a shift? Can you tell us a little bit about that story? It, it really was my desire to put my own stamp onto things, to be my own voice. Really is uh, getting into hair, getting into flowers. It's about making people's, people feel good for myself and uh, I like to have my own stamp on it I'm not you know I'm not humble in that way and uh, having an issue with expressing that yes I would like to do this can you tell me what attracted you to Kickstarter to start this campaign especially as a black man because there's different stakes yes when it comes to crowdfunding. Yes. Um, so tell me a little bit about your experience. I didn't think Kickstarter was designed for someone like myself. Uh, someone that looked like me, uh, they came from similar backgrounds. On Kickstarter, you all have a huge following and a lot of people find interest. And there are a lot of people who want to help people who do not have as much money and finance and access as they do yeah. uh, or would like. Uh, it was a bunch of strangers, a bunch of people that I did not know who emailed me, who gave me a call that I bumped, to, bumped into on the street who were like, yo, the story was amazing. I contributed $500, I contributed $20. Some people said, I don't have any money, but I believe in what you are doing. I felt your heart. And that was the most important part for me. If I didn't hit my goal, yeah, I would have been a little upset. If I got close, I was like, ah, yeah. maybe we'll try it again. Yeah. But I exceeded the goal because I believed in myself. And I really, I know for a fact that I inspired other people uh, to go after their dreams. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you so you. much for your time. You, we man. appreciate you. I appreciate you. I want to say that I appreciate you because you are inspiring uh, people that you have no clue, uh, including myself. So I'm very, very proud to sit across from you after watching your videos and digging in to what you've been up to and your story. So I also want to congratulate you on your success and wish you the best. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you again. Thank, Thank you. you.